In this video, we'll cover the two most common error messages on your Highland embroidery machine. From time to time, you'll experience error messages when running production on your embroidery machine. First one that we'll cover here is error number 12, which says stop not in place. If we were to go ahead and, and start running our machine right now, I can hit the start button, I see this error message pop up. What this is telling me is that my machine is not stopped at 100 degrees of rotation on my degree wheel. I can see my degree wheel located on my machine through the eyeglass window and we'll likely see that I'm at a degree other than 100 degrees. To fix this, all I need to do is tap the arrow going out the door to clear the error message. And on my home screen, I'll see this 100 icon, which in our case has a slash over it. To fix the error, I'll just tap the 100 icon. The machine will go through and do a cycle, and the slash goes away, meaning that I'm back at 100 degrees and ready to start running my machine again. The second error message that we'll cover is error number 19 says our needle position is abnormal. If I were to begin sewing on this machine, I'll tap the start button and I'll see that error message pop up. What can cause this error message is if at any point the sewing head gets bumped while the machine is sitting idle or if you're color changing over to needle number 15 and the sewing head runs into the control panel, it can cause your needle position to be knocked off and therefore be abnormal and cause this error message. When this error message pops up, you'll see in the upper right corner of your control panel a needle. And typically, if we have a needle that's in sewing position, we're going to have a number next to this needle. In our case, we don't, and that tells us that we don't have a needle in sewing position. So to resolve this, I'm going to tap the arrow going out the door, and then I'm going to locate either a black or a red knob, which is located on the right side of the sewing head. Depending on the model of machine you have, that will determine the color of this knob. Once I find this knob, I'm going to turn it very slowly until I get a number to show up next to this needle. This will tell me that a needle is back in sewing position. In our case, it's needle number one, and that tells me that I'm ready to begin using my machine again. For either of these error messages, if you experience complications trying to resolve them, please don't hesitate to call MESA support. And for uh, instructions on how to resolve other error messages that you might encounter on your machine, please see documentation on our website, mesatraining.com.